coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with the second video for the series that my friend Samantha and I are doing. And this is our top five series. So basically what we're going to do is go through our entire makeup repertoire and pick our top five favorite products of whatever category we're discussing that week. So this week we decided to talk about blush. And what we're doing is we're going out of our way to pick products that are not limited edition. So in case you fall in love with them as hard as we have, you're still able to find them without going on eBay and paying like $5,000 basically. So this video was so hard for me to do. I mean, you guys, it was super hard because blush mm, gives me purpose. Like blush is just, oh, how can I describe it? Blush and highlighter, cheek products. I'll go to the store and I'll buy a new one. And when I come home, I want to take my biggest, fluffiest, like powder brush and just apply it all over my face. Literally, it just makes me so happy. So when I had to pick, these two like cubbies right here are blush. When I had to narrow it down, I couldn't select any limited edition products and I had to pick just five, Ooh, I almost cried. But we made it through. We made it through and we picked five and here we are to talk about them. So in order to show you the majestic, delicious goodness of my top favorite, five blushes, then I'm gonna bring you in closer. Welcome to my blush face. So let's go ahead and talk about these bad boys. It was so hard for me to just pick five, but I did it and we're gonna talk about it. And the reason this series is so cool is because obviously I'm doing it with my Bifferoni. I call her Bifferones. Uh, my Bifferone, Samantha. Um, but it's also because she has oily skin she has cool undertones, I have normal skin, and I have neutral to warm undertones. So it's something to really keep in mind. So if you're watching my video and you have cool undertones, these blushes might work. But if you want like a really good, um, like a great opinion on something that would 100% look great on you, you might wanna watch Sam's video because she has cool undertones. See what we're doing here, see? All the things we think about for the pandas and Sam subs. Sammy subs. Sammy subs. That sounds like her sandwiches. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The first one is a cream blush, and this is a cream to powder blush from Benefit. It's not going to come as any surprise because I've talked about it before. It's my favorite blush when I'm doing my mommy face, which is just concealer, mascara, and blush. And this is Benefit's Majorette. Oh, you guys, it smells amazing and it's it's legit cream to powder some cream blushes say they're cream to powder but they're really not this one really is cream to powder it's a really beautiful peach blush um, it's in my middle finger here and um, it's very flattering because on some people it pulls a little orange on other people it pulls a little bit more pink keep in mind that these are finger swatches so it's not gonna look as intense as it does on my hand and then also keep in mind that some of these blushes are hard to pick up with a finger. They're easier to pick up with brushes. So that is Benefits Majorette right there. So if you want a cream to powder blush and you like peachy, 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 peachy shades, this is a great option. The other one that I want to mention is my favorite peach blush from MAC. Well, this is my favorite MAC blush altogether. It's one of my Holy Grail products. This is Immortal Flower and it's a satin finish. You look at it in the pan and it's a little it's inconspicuous. It doesn't look very pigmented. You don't think it's going to show up very much on this or very well on the skin, but it really does. It's right here on this finger. Do you see how you can't even see the color as much? But it's such a beautiful peach blush right there. This is a great peach blush for people with light to fair skin tones, I would say. Because I think that would be a little bit difficult to show up on medium to deep, um, but it's so pretty. This used to be limited edition, and they actually made it permanent. Keeping up with the peach or coral theme, for some reason, I think they're like my favorites to buy. This is from Maybelline, the Master Highlight Collection in Coral. If you haven't tried these, Here's a little interesting piece of information. I'm kind of prejudiced when it comes to makeup. If you come in ugly packaging, I'm not even gonna consider you. I'm gonna look at the wall of drugstore makeup, I'm gonna avoid eye contact, I'm gonna go right over you, and I'm gonna keep going. And that's what happened with these products. The, the packaging to me is horrendous. It is 
ugly, right? Isn't this ugly packaging? And then this like black across the top. It just, it's not feminine. Makeup should be feminine and pretty, you know? So I was like, mm-mm, girlfriend, I'm not gonna try that. But I finally caved and I bought every single color. If you haven't tried these at the drugstore, get a coupon, buy them on sale. They are absolutely amazing. The cool thing about these is that they come with like a patchwork design. So you have a deeper peach, a lighter peach, um, a almost like a bronzy type color and then a shimmery shade. So what happens is you mix the shimmers with the satins all together and you get the most pretty, almost shimmery, goodness blush. Oh my God. If you put your brush in a certain area, it's less pigmented. If you put it in another area, it's more pigmented. I'm just gonna like go all at it and show you guys this delicious goodness of a blush. You see that sheen? It's really pretty. So that's what that blush looks like here. I wish I could show you guys better swatches because they're not as washed out. I think the reason they look so washed out is because my hair is so dark. But do you see that sheen? Let me try and get a swatch from like the darker areas of the pan. So if you focus on the darker areas of the pan, it's this shade right here. So you see how it's one blush, but you can get two different shades out of it. Isn't that cool? So those are like my peachy options. Now let's talk about pink or rosy, mauvey type blushes. The first one is from Tarte and it's called Dazzled. And this one's gonna be hard to swatch for you guys because Tarte blushes are notoriously hard. If you apply them with a brush, it's easy peasy, you get pigment every time, and they last like 14 hours. If you use your finger to swatch it, it's so hard to pick up product, like really, really hard. You have to like almost scratch it with your nail to get any color out of it, and then it gets that like crust on top. So that's dazzled right there, and it does look like it has like a shimmer or a spark, you see that like, layer that it gets when you use your when you use your body oil on here like your finger it gets that like scab like that makeup scab so make sure you don't put your fingers in there as much if you don't if you don't have to but this is a beautiful mauve it's a mauve that doesn't pull purple there are so many mauves that pull purple on me and they make me look like i got punched in the face and that is one look that you want to avoid at all costs this is a really neutral mauve. It's absolutely flattering on all skin tones. This shade is dark enough or deep enough to show up on deeper skin tones, but it's also friendly enough to be to be used by someone with fair skin tones. So it's hard for a blush to do that, but this one does it. So again, this is Dazzled by Tarte. The last one that I have is from Gerlactic, and Gerlactic is available at um, Rite Aids now, I believe, in California. Um, otherwise, you have to buy it online, and this is the shade Milan. How beautiful is that? Oh, you guys, I love this blush. I actually got this in a Wantable a long time ago, and I was like, why have I never heard of this brand before? It's a really beautiful, dusty rose. It, you see how dusty it is? It pulls a little mauve on some people and it's a little pink on others. This is another blush that's buildable that will show up on different skin tones. So you see on me it pulls a little bit like a mauve pink, but on others it's really pink, so I really like that. And I couldn't do this video without mentioning my holy grail blush of all time, of life, of ever and I believe it's limited edition I haven't been able to confirm it because every time I mention this blush so many of you tell me you can still find it I bought like three of them on eBay because someone told me it was getting discontinued I don't see these blushes anywhere in Texas anymore when I go back to California I don't see them there either so maybe they're still available but I haven't seen them at all this is Rimmel London's Santa Rose blush. It's a drugstore blush. It's my hardcore favorite blush. Oh, you guys, this blush, I hope it's not discontinued. I really want each of you guys to be able to try it because it's absolutely stunning. It's just pink. It's just a pink blush. It's like a satin finish pink blush. You can go to town with it and apply like a hardcore layer of it. It's not gonna make you look like a clown. It's just gonna make you look glowy and healthy. <sighs> I hope it's not discontinued. I don't even have the strength 
or the courage to find a dupe for it because I want it to not be discontinued. <laughs> That's that color right there. If you want the perfect pink blush, Rimmel Santa Rose. Please don't be discontinued. I hope, Rimmel, are you watching my video? Probably not, you've never retreated me. But if you're watching, please let us know because this blush, I don't know what I'm gonna do if it's actually discontinued. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use one of the three backups that I bought. <laughs> so that is it for my top five favorite blush video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you go over to Sam's channel and see what her top five, five favorite blushes are. I actually am very intrigued to watch her video because every time she does a video, I ask her, what blush are you wearing? And it's always a blush that I don't have. I mean, after I ask her, I get it. And now I have it. But every time she does a video, I'm like, what blush is that? And she tells me and I don't have it. So she and I have very different tastes when it comes to blushes. So you might be able to find... Uh, one that you like here, another one that you like on Sam's channel. I mean, it's going to be different. We're going to have a different approach on all of our top choices. So I'm going to link her channel and her video in the description box below. So that is it for my top five favorite blush video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you go over to Sam's channel and see what her top five, five favorite blushes are. I actually am very intrigued to watch her video because every time she does a video, I ask her, what blush are you wearing? And it's always a blush that I don't have. I mean, after I ask her, I get it, and now I have it. But every time she does a video, I'm like, what blush is that? And she tells me, and I don't have it. So she and I have very different tastes when it comes to blushes. So you might be able to find uh, one that you like here, another one that you like on Sam's channel. I mean, it's going to be different. We're going to have a different approach on all of our top choices. So I'm going to link her channel and her video in the description box below. But like always, all these products will be listed and linked in the description box below, along with what I'm wearing, if there's a tutorial, my shirt, all that stuff will be listed in the description box below. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, maybe your favorite blush, and if you found this video useful, entertaining, or 